Chase, I think somebody rang the doorbell. I'll see who it is. Captain America. How are you? Good. Happy birthday. Thanks. Cole, did Captain America come to your house? No way. Cameron, nice to meet you. Really? You his mother? I am. I am mommy. Who's nice this? What's you. your name? Chase. Chase. Chase? I'm Captain America. Where's your daddy? Uh, daddy. Dad. Where's your daddy at? Is your daddy here? Chase, where's daddy? Or Cole, where's daddy? In Afghanistan. He's in Afghanistan? Let's go, team. Let's go, team. Nice shot, okay. Let's go. <laughs> All right, mommy's going to get breakfast. Do you want him to stay or go? Yeah. Stay. You do? Okay. Yep. You guys should take your hats off so we can eat breakfast. That's why I keep this part of my mask open so I can eat without taking my mask off. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. He's so good. He's up on the table. Chase. Is that your daddy? Daddy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Daddy. daddy. <laughs> Tried to make it home for your birthday. I missed it by a couple days. Sorry. Birthday. Birthday. Yeah. What's wrong? You don't I think didn't. it's me? Yeah, I didn't. You didn't know it was me? No. Haha. <laughs> 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 Fooled you. Was that a fun birthday present? Is it fun? Are you okay? Are you sure? Joshua J. New at 10, a big surprise for a family attending tonight's Admirals game. Yona Govino joins us now with the unexpected outcome. Shannon, his two teenage sons thought they were being honored as hometown heroes. They've made plenty of sacrifices and moved nine different times wherever their dad was stationed. Little did they know their own hero was waiting backstage to surprise them.
Andros and John Gabriziak have grown up a lot in the year their dad John has been deployed. He's in the Army and serves in the South Pacific. But all of a sudden, he was right behind them. A big hug from his mom, and then his wife of 22 years, Valerie. It was just so amazing to finally see him in person. You know, we see him on Skype, we see him, you know, in pictures, and it's just like, oh, he's here, I can touch, I can actually hug him again, and that's wonderful. It's a homecoming surprise about a month in the making. John only told Valerie about it two days ago. She's like, what do you mean you're coming home? Aren't you still in Guam? And I was like, um, no. <laughs> It was a nerve-wracking day that started at 6 a.m. Flew to Dallas, plane was delayed there for about an hour, flew to Kansas City, and then I finally made it here about 4 o'clock this afternoon. His wife says she's just as proud of her boys as she is of John. During this deployment, it was really hard. I had medical issues and whatnot, and they had to just, you know, step in there and help. And for now, the family is looking forward to getting away, maybe a trip to the Mall of America. And the boys say they also want to show off their dad to their classmates at school. Shannon. Oh, it gives you chills. I'm glad they're reunited. Thank you, Yona. This song, the time of my life, you give that to me. And, you know, I've, I've got to do this here because okay. this. <laughs> oh, no, Will you marry me? A Dancing with the Stars shocker. And for once, we're not talking about an elimination. Noah Galloway proposed to girlfriend Jamie Boyd, who didn't see it coming at all. I'm speechless. Said I'm never speechless. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you. Is that a yes? Is that oh, a yes? Yes. <laughs> Noah got down on one knee during his backstage interview after earning rave reviews and a score of 36 out of 40 for his performance. Of course, the crowd went crazy. We see you, Demi Moore. Even Tom Bergeron needed a minute before throwing to a commercial break. Can I, can I borrow your tissues? Congrats to the happy couple. going on with that? Oh, yeah. Are you guys talking about the clouds and stuff? And the layers of the rainforest? Yeah. yeah. Well, the rainforest is kind of a little bit different than where Heather's mom is. It's kind of like real dry and it doesn't rain very much. So, yeah. It's the desert. Huh? It's the yeah. desert. That's right. Well, I have a very special surprise for you guys. So if you'll just give me just a second, I'll go get in the hall, okay? Jennifer, are you ready? Well, what do you think? Mommy! Yes! <laughs> Oh, baby. Girl, I thought you were going to be a one <laughs> <laughs> I know she is. 
she did. <laughs> you happy to see me, baby? <laughs> oh. Yeah, she's grown a lot. She's <laughs> she is very tall. <laughs> what do you what? think about your mom sneaking up here like that? Well, answering. <laughs> she like, she don't know what to think. <laughs> Heather? I missed you. <laughs> I missed you too, baby. <laughs> Heather, did Grandma surprise you? <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> that was a good surprise, wasn't it, huh? Mm. So. <laughs> oh, what do you think, huh? Awesome. <laughs> yeah. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you direct your attention to the 50-yard line. Tonight at Pickerington High School North, we are helping our friends from Grove City in a special Welcome Home celebration. Returning from his third deployment in the Middle East is Staff Sergeant Raymond Kramer of the 718th Army Reserve Unit out of Rickenbacker. Staff Sergeant Kramer arrived today. His return home in attendance here this evening is a complete surprise to his daughter and Grove City Band member, Sky Kramer. Please join us in welcoming Sergeant Kramer back to Columbus and thanking him for his service to this great country. Nothing short of a blessing and a gift to our entire family. Uh, she's a little embarrassed right now, and that's okay. Um, so, with saying that, sorry to interrupt your dinner, but I uh, wanted to give back to her a gift and uh, give her a gift of uh, her soldier, her son, uh, home from Afghanistan. Uh, and uh, so, welcome home, your son. Uh, Staff Sergeant David Brandy. 